Hello and welcome to a video on how to create an environment. For this, we log into admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com, click on environment on the left hand side and click on plus new. Then we choose a name, for example, HR system, the region. So contact your salesperson for the region. For example, it could be um, Europe, if it's not clear which region you're in. Type could be either sandbox or production, sandbox for test and dev systems, production for your live system. Difference is basically production is a little bit faster, sandbox can more easily be converted and um, old updates can be, old backups can be more easily um, restored. Then we always create a database for the environment, the pay as you go, you usually don't need because you have space from your licenses. Then next. Here you can change your language. Um, important for international guests. We only support base language English, French, German. So most of you will probably um, stick with English. Um, next one you can click here for the URL. You import the URL. For example, let's say your company is called uh, Hunak um, HG or GmbH or whatever, and then you can change your system, the URL to Hunok HR, for example, or whatever name you want to use. Mm -hmm. Then the currency you want to use, Euro, dollars, whatever you want to use. And then that's important, click on Enable Dynamics 365, um, and then go for a app. In my case, customer service. This cannot be done later, so this has to be done while first setting up, creating an environment. Okay? And then, if you want to, you can add a security group. If you're working with the security groups, if you're not, you can skip it, click on save, and then a few minutes later, the environment will have been created. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.